bench, I think. Hello and welcome back. This is game one of the Australian women's team playing the New Zealand women's team here in Balmain. Just enough time for the commentators to run to the bathroom and buy some sunscreen. And we're straight back into some frizz action in Sydney. Holly Reeve punting it deep to Rachel Joyce. A lovely layout bid, but unfortunately couldn't quite get there. Yeah, tough one there for the Australians. You haven't missed much. We're nil all. And uh, New Zealand they get their first chance with the disc, starting on defense. Is number 12, Anna Crosby with the disc. Bounces off hands. It's Reeve who has it now. Nice high, high backhand. to Downey. Oh. But she has been... Yeah, really excellent block by, uh, looked like Sheridan there. Bianca Mercer. Oh, Bianca Mercer, rather. There's a brother in the men's team, I believe. Ooh. Ooh. Potential foul now, I know. Didn't quite step out far enough on that backhand. And bit, of, uh, bit of a high-octane beginning to this game, isn't it, Max? You can tell they're excited. This is the first point of a three-game test series. Emma Doyley hitting. Wow, there's a great wow. grab from Bianca Mercer. Continuation up the line to number 19, Lucy Parsons. She puts it deep. Oh. Oh, Sage Lovell with the disc. I like that turn. Not sure how much you knew about it. Zhao did a pretty good job there of uh, trying to pretend like the disc wasn't coming to her. <laughs> good deception from Sonny Zhao. Miriam Downey with the disc. Ooh. Another turn there. So New Zealand looking at a short field. Punts it up. Mercer underneath. And it's in. New Zealand. Lucy Parsons with the goal. First one's on the board. You were trying to inspire the troops. Yeah, and you could definitely see a little bit of nerves there creeping in early in, the, uh, early in that one. Definitely. Lots of turnovers as well. Yeah, that's for sure. But, um, you know, hard when you've just watched, uh, just watched the New Zealand, sorry, the, watched the Aussie boys play. You know, a bit hyped up from all the uh, all that watching. Just want to go out there and just get amongst it. And uh, you can see uh, the New Zealand team. Much more. The girls are on board the uh, of on on board the Neil train, Gussie. <laughs> That is, of course, kneeling in support of your team, not a train full of people called Neil. <laughs> <laughs> a, a very good and accurate <laughs> one. <laughs> Getting a few laughs here from the, uh, the commentary box for that one. Hopefully you enjoyed it at home as well. Yeah, New Zealand, it's hard to say how they're looking. Actually, Max, I was about to say New Zealand looking strong, but we've only seen one point. It's true. Little, don't want to draw any too, too many false positives. If you are just tuning in for the first time, would recommend... Uh, going back and watching the first game between the uh, the Thunder and uh, Catapo, Very the exciting New, game. New Zealand team. I, I, I won't ruin it if you, <laughs> if you don't know the scoreline yet, but let's just say came down to the wire. Banks picking up the pool, punting it across to Holly Reeve in Callahan country, but Holly Reeve's not worried. Yes, back to Banks. It's quite an experienced line on, actually. She's got Mueller on her right. Banks and Reeve, happy to work it. Now they're swinging it across. Carpenter coming under. Just through the hands, though. Unfortunate there. Shaz or Raz? Do you reckon Max? I think that's Raya. No, that's, that's correct. Sharon. No, sorry. Sharon. Shan. Sharon. Shannon. So Shaz. Big punt deep. Yeah. Mueller would have got there in the end, I think. Yeah, we're, uh, Shannon. 
Oh, uh, no, I built... Mm, yeah, see, now we're in trouble. No, I think Ray is number one normally. One of them is wearing a headband. Yeah, I think I think Sharon normally has knee tape on. Shannon, sorry, not Sharon. So why, why do you keep calling her Sharon? I don't know. <laughs> it's because it's Shaz. I don't know. Holy Reeve. Great grab. Ooh. Ooh. Another high turn point. Number 24 for New Zealand. Hillary Sheridan picking it up. Hitting Baron Halliday up the line. Ooh, wow. Hunting into number 18, Abby Liddell. It's two quick points. Well, May I raise it? two points for New Zealand. Went that quick. Yeah, both lots teams having multiple opportunities to score it, but uh, lots of turns. Just like the boys, bit of a nervous beginning. Mm. Some high turnover points. Yeah, and worth remembering the yeah the Aussie boys did go down. They went. They were in a deficit of four at one point, early in the first half. Yep. So. Uh, Certainly stay tuned, folks. Don't think, oh, two points, it's over. I may as well turn off. Because it's not. No. It's a game to 15. I might watch cartoons or something. <laughs> or the football. I might watch the footy. Watch the pre-show. Don't do that. Stay tuned. So, uh, apologies, of course, if, you know, we, uh, we mangle any names here or... Uh, yeah, don't give the full... We do have a few uh, double-ups in terms of numbers that needed to be sorted for the um, for the Terra team, so uh, we should have all the names down by the end of it, but, uh, yeah, apologies if there are any uh, any mistakes, of course. But there probably won't be any, Gus. I'm pretty confident in that. I'm feeling good. Holly Reeve to receive the pool. She's got Jess Emery on the first look. Hits Banks instead. Emery's streaking deep. Potentially an option there. Right side look doesn't come off. Kahu, an opportunity. Emma Doily to pick it up. Mm. It's classic vert stack here. A nice under there from number 18. That's li Little. Right on the sideline now, New Zealand. Still want to cram it in that cram hole. Big floaty disc. Banks comes down with it. Nice Emery streaking deep. Gets in Holly Reeves' hands. I reckon it might go. It's in Banks' hands. Could go anyway. And yeah. send us back to Reeve. Reeve in momentum. Looks for the next one. It's for Banks. It's Sage level under. Back to Banks. Up and around. Oh, unfortunately, looking for Joyce there. Just didn't quite connect. Yeah, very well blocked by Svitanovic. Well done, Max. A man picking it up. Oh, looks for Liddell, but doesn't quite come off. Bounces out of hands. Reef to pick it up straight away. Surveys the field, looks to get it off. Oh, it's a nice level. Little definitely free. Need a field cut there. Don't think Carpenter's going to get there. Unlucky there from Raz. Kahu. Beth Thompson to pick it up. Palmer on the mark. Ow. Says uh, <laughs> Paul Little. Just bounces off the top of the fingers. Oh, just unlucky. Out of the outstretched hands of um, Emery. Fine margins here. Very true. Just a little bit of uncertainty there from Emery's fill cut. <laughs> Oh, beautiful inside there from the New Zealanders. Bianca Mercer with the disc. She's already had some spectacular plays early in this game. Emma Dooley swings around to Thompson. Just some drops creeping in now, both teams. We just need a calm head here on offense, I reckon. And I think KB might be our gal, Max. I mm. think Kirsten Banks is going to just calmly punt this one in. Stage level goes deep. Nice. Loader over the top. Well read by the New Zealanders. Not a bad play, uh, but... Uh, Into a little bit of traffic, maybe. Yes, yeah, so, and You're the two... deep. A few too many. Oh. And we get the D. That's a turn factory out here. Reeve looks straight to the middle of the field, looking for a fill. It's well defended by the New Zealanders. Oh, it's a great throw. Oh, man, this wind is... Yeah, unpredictable. Havoc. You had to say out of the hand. It's probably, a, probably the right shape for the occasion, but... Uh, 
The wind makes a mockery of us all, Gus McDonald. Yeah, sure does. Don't need to tell me twice. Then I won't. It's New Zealand picking it up in that uh, far side corner. Mercer, under a lot of pressure from Reeve, can't quite grab it. Not sure if Reeve got the D there. Yeah, Shane Mercer's been having a good game, but uh, Reeve is a tough one to draw in terms of your matchup. One of Australia's real up and coming elite players. And Banks shoots it to the end oh, zone. Oh, Joyce with the snap catch. That is a beautiful catch. It's a good snag there from Rachel Joyce. And Australia on the board. On the board. 2 1. I told you not to turn the, the, it off. Yeah, I was pretty close. <laughs> Told you not to, to do it. Hanging up the headphones and walking away here, Max. But Australia back, back playing. Joycey been playing um, four years. Yeah. Uh, she's a Canberra, another great person yes, from the Australian yes, from Canberra Capital Territory. Yes. Uh, you'll be interested to know that uh, she won her netball grand final this year. Oh. In overtime. Oh, well done. Oh, yeah. overtime. Didn't know they did that in netball. Yeah, no, they do. Oh, cool. Well, you can't have a draw. Oh, no, no. You don't know. Have yeah, you, ever you ever seen a penalty shootout in netball? <laughs> Hey, that's, that's actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> it's just not the worst idea. But, I mean, yeah, probably too specific. And Do you think we could have a penalty shootout equivalent in Frisbee? I Instead of a universe point. I know universe point is what the crowd wants. Why don't we just do extra time and then go straight to uh, a, some kind of penalty shootout? Uh, I can tell you, from having watched a, a tiebreaker result in, at Melbourne Hat this year, uh, where somebody had to, two people had to try and throw it as close as they could to the... The brick mark, <laughs> it's not as exciting as a universe oh, really? point. <laughs> it's a great heckle opportunity. Real solid Melbourne hat situation, but uh, if the final of nationals were decided by who could throw it closer to an X on the ground about 50 metres away, I think you'd probably end up disappointed. Yes, I'm on here. <laughs> oh, and it's a catch for Gussie. There it is. Mr. McDonald. Oh, I wasn't on the camera there, but... Oh, you were, trust me. Yeah, the people yeah. loved it. So, it's New Zealand. They really have it about it up. on the halfway mark. Oh, Mueller just can't quite get the block. From Parsons. From the shoelaces. Mueller putting on a ferocious mark. Mueller's... Oh, could have been on there, Arva. Arva is finding, finding a bit of space. It goes to the end zone. Oh, wow. Well worked in. Yeah, New Zealand did a good job weathering the pressure there. Lots of opportunities. Some close opportunities for the Australians, but... Uh, the catch there from Nicole Svensden. Apologies to Nicole and her family for <laughs> <laughs> butchering of her last name. Yeah, and um, we'll, I think we'll um, we might spend some time in this uh, this break just just nailing those pronunciations. Yeah, yeah, just do it. Yeah, yeah, just going around having a chat. Mm -hmm. So. And so was that Svenston in the end zone? Then? Sure was. Nice. Svenson's a Auckland player. Nice. And shout out to any Flex players who are watching. Flex, by the way, really great team name. I'm super on board with it. Uh, and she's excited for some layouts. Yeah, okay. So look for her going horizontal this game. Been playing three years. There's a... Uh, They'll be, we'll be interested to see how all these players gel together because they're from all around, just like Australian, all, all yeah, from all around. around. Got Christchurch, Wellington, Auckland, Nelson, all represented. Nelson, beautiful part of New Zealand. Shout out to anyone who's watching from Nelson. Holly Reeve ducks under a camera that is not on. Thank you, Holly, for your consideration. <laughs> Uh, I think I've distracted Holly. She's in the she's in the zone. KB to receive the pull. Can't quite hit Carpenter because of the good chase down. It's Hannigan instead. Both Carpenters on the field here. That's going to be confusing. And the stall nine option, bailout potentially. option. Ooh. Only I had a sniff there. And again, did a very good job of pretending that the disc wasn't coming into the last minute. That's good. I like it. I like the coyness. Mm. And the, uh, just a discussion about whether indeed it was or was not a stall. It twas. So the game advisors tap their heads. Don't rub their bellies, of course. <laughs> there's no one going for the Australians onto the mark, so there's some miscommunication upfield oh. and uh, leads to a goal She's for the New well Zealanders. There. That is, of course, 
Helena Svidanovic. And I have to apologize to the Svidanovic family as well, the pronunciation. Absolutely. Bit of a timeout called here from Australia. Bit of a trend, 4-1. Yeah, here we are again, Gussie. Same situation or similar situation to what the boys, boys experienced in their game before. Got a bit of, a bit of deja vu. But you got to say that'll give uh, it'll give Australia a bit of confidence, I guess, so they can come back from the situation, having just seen the boys do it. Mm -hmm. I think so. What can you tell me about some of these players, Max? You got any yeah, interesting why we, info? Why don't we talk a little bit about them? Do you want to hear about the Australians or the New Zealanders? Mm, might be biased, but uh, Australians. Okay. Well, uh, certainly we can talk a little bit about the uh, two Carpenter uh, yes, Shaz and Raz. Girls, yes. Sh Shannon and Raya. Both from Perth, both uh, Cisco players and uh, also play, f play for Primal. Both been playing about two and a half years. Had the pleasure of going over to WA to uh, coach them uh, a couple of weeks ago for a clinic. That um, It was a really great turnout, awesome enthusiasm, and there's tons of potential coming out of Perth. So uh, shout out to all the Perth players who are watching and supporting their guys and girls this weekend. Mm -hmm. Uh both, of course, uh, played juniors last time, returning players, um, and, of course, represented WA in the uh, Australian Youth Ultimate Championships. Not the only uh, Perth players, of course, on this team. You've also got uh, Jess Emery, also a primer player. If you're wondering what she's in most excited about this? Uh, I am. I am, actually, guys. It's the banter. Ooh. She's not well, here for the frisbee. She she's here for the chat. She should come into the commentary box then, I think, Max. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure she'll either enjoy or not enjoy our commentary. Probably and not enjoy. Nothing in between. <laughs> We're a very polarizing commentary team. That's true. But hey, you know, you got to be in it to win it. <laughs> nope. Uh, <Okay. laughs> Zia Palmer, also representing uh, WA here, plays for... Uh, Curtain, uh, excited to just be around the uh, the girls this time around. Yeah, great, cool. So we're coming back in <laughs> New Zealand with the pool, of course, four one. Yes, Australia looking to steady the ship a little bit here. A couple of points in a row. Got a nice, uh, strong handler line. Seeing Mueller out. Banks again. Holy Reeve. One hand, one bounce catch there. <laughs> I like that. The zone. The zone is out again. Reeve, Mueller, and Banks back. I think Terry in a pretty good place. It's a nice combo. Sage. Ooh. Difficult catch there for Banks. But she does it. It's quite cramped here, the offense. No one really stretching the deep. Yeah, looking a bit nicer now, though. Some more movement. Don't think that pass by Lovell had any rotations <laughs> on it, but it gets to the intended receiver. Oh, oh that's good, Dave. It's a nice foul block. Call. It's going to be some discussion, I would imagine. Abby Liddell with that one on Holly Reeve. Reeve thinks about it. Now, I have to be a little bit careful about how loud we are, given we are just sitting on the sideline where the... Uh, where the foul occurred, or where the contested foul occurred. Yeah. So you look at it again, it's a nice little line. There is definitely a bump on the shoulder, causes Reeve to rotate around. It's contested, and uh, play resumes. Mueller, oh, oh! A real unfortunate gust there. Wind is definitely playing for New Zealand at the moment. New Zealand have a crack. Oh, it just bounces yeah. off the hand of uh, Kovanovic. Mueller punts it. Got some options. Oh, oh, and it comes off. That's nuts. That's a lovely goal. Really Four immaculate. Terra girls like it. And who can blame it? The Thunder yep. boys seem to like it as well. Yeah, mostly debriefing from the game before, but, mm. you know, fair. Uh, exciting. So, Australia, they uh, exploit the uh, just the skill error from New Zealand. Mm. And as a result, punch it in. Pop on the board. Now that was thrown by Arva Mueller, 
who is in her second Worlds campaign, or third if you consider the Stingrays campaign, which she is part of, along with Holly Reeve. Yes, yeah, we'll be the under 24s. So that's a pretty outstanding achievement. Yeah, very exciting. The uh, Worlds is in Perth in uh, in January for the under 24s. So uh, multiple campaigns going on for Mueller. Mm. And uh, it's exciting to see that so many of these players are still so young that they can play multiple divisions and uh, really pushes the quality of our sport forward, Gus. Sure does. A bit of wind threatens to tip. Yeah, but the pull is excellent. Reeve is already down there, pressuring the first pass. Pops up. Oh, this is Callahan country. Reeve, Reeve chases reading it. it from behind. Yeah, she's, she's done it. it. That's a Callahan. And that is 4-3. As soon as it left the hand, you had the feeling, didn't you, Max? The Holly Reeve was going to have that disc in her hand. Certainly. With Reeve underneath it, it's, uh, it's more likely than not that she's going to come down with it. That's a great grab. It is a great grab. Well read. Great grab. And a nice chase. I mean, it's this, this a whole package. It's the kind of stuff when, you, when you're coaching, as I do, Gus, which you may <laughs> or may not know, it's the kind of stuff you want to point to. This is the importance of a good pull. This is the importance of a pull chase. Reeve just... Real pack grab. She's got people on all sides. 360 degrees of pressure. 360 degrees. Not uh, not dissimilar to that grab that we saw from uh, Driscoll. Driscoll. Oh no, yeah, Driscoll in uh, in the previous uh, in the previous game. Mm -hmm. That's great to see. Yeah, there's a lot of a uh, lot of experience being shown by these players, even though. None of them really been playing for more than uh, three or four years. I think with the, the longest exception. I've seen is six years there from Kirsten Banks, I believe. Yeah, that's true. And uh, a few of the New Zealand players also have a little bit, have something approaching that amount of experience. Uh, Zoe Risner has been playing for over six years. She's only 18, so an impressive feat indeed. Big gust. Going to get some debris on the field, I think. Pressure coming in now. The pulls landed very deep in the end zone for New Zealand, and they're once again we just picked up, punting it. Maybe not a bad option, but I think that that disc might float to the um, yeah, almost made it to Balmain yeah. Road. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, it didn't look like it was going to stop anytime soon. Not sure where it went out though. Yeah, there'll be a bit of a discussion. It's probably coming up about where that white sign is, where the game advisor was gesturing there, I believe. Yes, the, the Discraft sign. Discraft, of course, disc sponsors of Australian Ultimate. And we thank them for their kind support. <laughs> here we go. Very deep, the Australians here. But maybe that's uh, indicative of what they're looking for as they hit the around. He's down to Mercedes. Back Banks. Oh, I thought she was going to let go of that one. Had me sold. Mercedes gets a, a good up one dump movement, but wow. it's too floaty. He's done well to catch it. Yeah. From Jeanette. Read it all the way into the hand. A lot of pressure on the mark. They're not giving off any arounds. Oh, and just that wind. You can oh, see it as it comes roll. out of the hand. Have to stop that roll. Oh, dear. Oh, it's gone back the other way now. Insert Benny Hill music. <laughs> <laughs> on the sideline. Number 12, Anna Crosby walking to the disc. Been pretty comfortable so far. Well, this one's going to be pushed, so if it goes in the end zone, it'll be a zinger, and there it is. Oh, gee, that's tough. Player in space. Looked like she was going to get it, and the wind just dropped it there. It's unlucky for Liddell. So, Australians. Nice little bit of communication happening in the stack at the moment. You going to cut? Oh, yeah, no, you do it. All right, don't mind Palmer. if I do Palmer on the break side, and then across to the open side. Unfortunately, three of the players have the same idea as there. <laughs> oh, an oh, unfortunate damn. Miss Q with the dump. Yeah, New Zealand very hard on the unders. and uh, Made it difficult there for the dump with no um, offline options. Yep. So this is number 12, Anna Crosby. Go-to handler seemingly for Kahu. Oh! One foot. That's the only number. A cheeky one footer grab there from Liddell. Yeah, it's, it's been it's all over the place. Yeah, it's a nice little play from her. From Wellington. So, 5 3 now. 5 3. Stand it out. Yep. Mueller and Reeve uh, sprint to the line. Interesting. Australian Decane 
I mean, I guess when you when you're training for the stingrays, you've been doing this Australian campaign stuff. You just you just sprint wherever you like. You just sprint. Yeah, I actually saw them. They just got out of the car and they just sprinted over. <laughs> I think this is their go-to movement. Well, the thing is, when you when you're time poor like these, you know, young athletes <laughs> yeah, are, with, right. it's not it's not efficient to walk around. You got to maximize your training time, don't you? Exactly. Sprint everywhere, I say. It's a tip for young players. You could be as good as Mueller and uh, and Reeve one day. Okay. Sprint everywhere. A lesson from Max Howden. Uh, now the New Zealand uh, team has the actually the youngest athlete here uh, okay. for either of the either of the national teams. A uh, fourteen-year-old oh. in the um, in the form of Bridget Forsyth. Oh. Uh, she's a deep receiver. She's only been playing for eight months. Would wow. you believe? Number fifty-two. Look out for her on the stream. Don't think she's on this point. There it is. Oh, it's coming up. Yeah. Could be on here again, Max. No, it's just dropped. Reeve runs confidently to the disc. Deep cut from Hannigan. There's actually an undercut from Hannigan. Clogging the space a little bit. Mueller bails out. She's got Emery deep. She's going to punt it into the wind. Difficult throw. Oh, it nearly came off, though. Again, you would have to say, a micro change in that disc probably would have made it sit significantly. It's all about the angles, isn't it? Rachel Joyce gets a great run through D. Huge block for the Australians. Not afraid to leave her feet, Rachel Joyce. And not afraid to keep her feet if that's all that's required. That's right. Just very fearless. Oh, wow. And an up-the-line dump set up here. Which oh, he leaves Mueller in space. It's a bullet to Mueller. Got a hand on him, but couldn't quite clench the fist closed around that disc. So... New Zealanders. Crosby Cro on the disc. Oh, Reeve nearly gets it. Yeah, but it's a nice grab in the end. And Zoe Reisner. Reisner. Soots it. Oh, wow, but that's a great. Oh, my goodness. Wow, bodies flying what everywhere. What an exciting chain of events here. Yeah, Mueller with a beautiful block. Mercer also with a, a valiant attempt to keep the disc alive. But Australians now got the full field to work it up. First move, it's a deep shot. Oh, it's a deep shot. I reckon it's going to go. Oh, Emery in flow. It's a solid in. A few options. Looks off Reeve. To Mueller. Mueller soots it. That is probably the one she was looking for oh, earlier. That's well read by Sage. That's a great connection. And see what I said about that micro change in, um, in angle. It's all about that micro change. You should be a coach, Max. Yeah, you know your stuff. I've, I've, missed, I've, I've missed my calling, Gus. I'm stuck here in the commentary booth. Oh, but, uh, yeah, it was a nice play there. Mueller with a very, uh, very pretty throw in the end. As we just watch it come out of the hand, just that little bit of extra edge control just makes it sit up rather than die in the wind. Interesting fact about Mueller: not only does she play ultimate frisbee max, she also plays another sport or participates in another sport. Oh, okay. It involves horses. Oh, interesting. She's a, a horse polo. No, no, equestrian. Oh, there you go. Yep. Very good. I don't have much more for you. Well, it's good to know. Yeah. Uh, I w it probably explains her grace and discipline on the field. Yeah, as we see that D that she got, actually. Ooh. You know what? I don't think Bianca Mercer was very far away from that disc. No. But Mueller did well. Yeah, nice point from Mueller. She'll be happy with that one. She says she's very happy. It's great to get that instant feedback. <laughs> It's like you're here, isn't it? So, Rolls out the side. Yeah, going roughly in line with the brick. Who is so Shannon to pick it up? New Zealand takes a few extra metres there. Oh, and this thing rips it! Wow. Oh, it's well deep by Jelnik. I'm not sure how much he knew about it. And it was a nice little zinger out of the hand. It looked good, but uh, again, this wind just playing havoc. Crossfield breeze going away from the camera to that away sideline. We've got the Carpenter Twins on the disc and in the dump position. I believe it's Shannon on the disc, Raya in dump. It's Zoe. Got Raya there on the back of dump. Swing pass available, but pick call might be the reason why it was so available, Max. Yes. But these... um. New Zealand defender catches up. These passes over to this commentary side of the field, Gussie, are worth some gold given this
pushing win, but I reckon. as a result, they're very tough. Very tough. Ray with this now. Left. Looks off her younger sister. Potentially older sister. I don't know why I committed to, <laughs> <laughs> to labelling it. Left a bit isolated there, unfortunately. And uh, it'll Emma be the Doily with others. the disc. Punts it deep straight away. A few people there. I think she's it's caught about yeah, too the much. Back. Again, these uh, the, the throws need to uh, really be pinpoint to come off here, and uh, just the wind is yes revealing any even slight uh, miss throws. Both teams having some difficulty moving in here, getting it started. Yeah, nice, nice look there from the. the the issue is that New Zealand is very, very hard marking the unders. A smart player, especially with the strong wind. Uh, Australians really need to be aggressive about getting it off this sideline, but uh, as I said, it's not easy. Deep shot maybe have to come here on a late stall. Looks to Carpenter. Oh, oh. nice little stutter step to get herself open up the line. Like twins out there, Max. It's beautiful. Two become one, etc. As the Spice Girls famously sung. Oh, and here they go. Palm with Very the disc. casual. Oh, just one pass away. Yeah, it looked good there. Flow. Looks good there, didn't it? I think both teams are having trouble getting it moving. But once it does start moving, some good flow. Big backhand. No. Doily looking to the middle to Sheridan. He sends it over. To Zoe Reisner. Oof. It's a nice grab from Parsons, to too. Lucy Parsons. Oh, it's a big disc across. It could be number 52. Oh, oh, the youngest player out there on the field. That is, of course, Bridget Forsyth. The great grab. Geez, that's such a nice grab. And uh, you have to say, uh, old uh, Sonny Zhao's going to feel a little bit hard done <laughs> by there. A little bit robbed. Yeah. yeah, robbed of a statistic. Poor Sonny. But uh, it was a beautiful pass. Both, both New Zealand players had space on the defenders in the break side. As we watch it again, Sonny sort of objectively in the best position and uh, oh, <laughs> plucks it out of the air, <laughs> does Forsyth. You love a bit of that. It's good to see. Is there a timeout here? No, no. There's a little bit of a chat. Just uh, uh, Kieran Hudson. Giving his uh, his take, the assistant, one of the coaches, uh, giving his take for the line that was just on the field, and uh, but we will play on. It's six four here, at Balmain Road Sports Fields, Callan Park, also maybe known as. It's got a few names on Google, I think. Yeah, no, not not easy to find. Make sure you check the the map link on Facebook if you are going to come and join us this afternoon. <laughs> oh, the disc goes up. That could hurt someone. It's not going to be us though, because it's at the side. Holly Reeve going to take that disc from the sideline. Got Banks in the middle. First cut coming from Downey. She's going deep straight away. Phil is, is bit, forthcoming. Big clogged, but it does get to Downey. Miz with a nice little flick off to my Arva. Got Holly in plenty of space. He's going to have to do a bit of work and does. Oh, Mueller. Not happy with that. Unfortunately, that drop will go in the stone, stone cold category, I think, Max. Mm, Steve Austin territory. Maybe a bit too young for that reference. Mueller wants it back, though. <laughs> She's hunting. Oh, Reeve with the D. Reeve backs her up. She was about three steps ahead of everyone else there on the field, I think. Holly Reeve. Dishes it off to Mueller. Safe hands this time. Mueller. Punts it to Banks. Caught in the wind a little bit, but Banks gets it anyway. Yeah, it's nicely read by Banks. Cuts the angle Mueller off from, from the streaking defender. Deep. Really need someone going over to the break side now, I think. Hits Holly Reeve. He wants to throw a goal, you can tell. She's got goal in her eyes. And she throws it to Kirsten Banks. Yeah, the uh, the holy trinity there. Banks, Mueller and uh, and Reeve. Doing a nice little job there, finishing the job. All returning players. 
Uh, Reeve, Mueller, and Banks. Actually, there's a lot of returning players out there today for Terra. I think, I think and don't fact check me here, mm -hmm. Max, but I believe it's 11. 11 returning players. That's what I was told. But it, it, it rings of truth, Gussie. And I'll, I'll say it with confidence. In this post-fact era, <laughs> you know, it doesn't. Uh, as long as you say it with conviction, I think it's true. Kron, give him some, give him some advice. What does Kron have on his player profile, Max? Did he fill it in? He did actually. I'm sure he's going to have some good answers. Yes, uh, Kieran is uh, coaching Terra now for his second year. He was a uh, he assistant. He was assistant coach for the Baron Mundys, of course, in um, in London. Okay. Helped uh, helped Anna and uh, Nikki Shires, Anna Regaki and Nikki Shires. To, to a silver medal. And uh, he's also going behind enemy lines and coaching the Irish under-24 team in Perth, the boys' team. So really displaying his coaching prowess across a number of divisions, yeah. Gussie. Wow. He can go here, he can go there, go overseas go domestically. He can do it all. Domestic, international, trans-Tasman. All of the above. So, it's 24. Hilary Sheridan with the disc. Number 88, Maria Mance. Haven't seen her on the disc too much so far. Once again, another grab well. from Mercer. Oh, Carpenter with the D, potentially. Not yeah. sure if she got a touch on it. Certainly did enough pressure to... Uh, to Convince Mance out of catching it. I'm 50% sure that that is Raya. As Holly Reid picks it up. She's got Mercedes on a strange looking undercut. Doesn't hit it. Hit Banks up the line instead. Oh. A few people there, but Banks runs through. Barrels through. Freight train territory. And they're really cramming in this cram hole at the moment, Terra. But hey, oh. a goal. That's a great pluck. That's a great grab. Yeah. Started to see that on the replay. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, the Australians are happy to just keep punting it up that sideline. Sophie. Yeah, Sophie's not put a, her surname yeah. on the uh, on the old it's form. It's just one name. It's like Prince. <laughs> she's, yeah, she's just Sophie. Sophie. Yeah, yeah. And then a few years she can be the frisbee player formerly known as Oh, Sophie. Sophie. I love that. Uh, Sophie, of course, great South Australian representing... Uh, oh, here we go. Here comes the song. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, just ex excited to play. She's actually represented South Australia in basketball two times. Oh. And you could see that with the hops on the uh, yep. on the catch. Yep, good hunk. Def hops. Good hunk. <laughs> I was going to say. Love I was, it. I was thinking about a slam bit of a dunk. dunk and I think it got combined with yeah. the word hop somewhere yeah. in, in, in the words. Bit of a slunk. And, uh, yes, she was. she's also been part of something called the National Intense Training Program. <laughs> So she's for any particular sport or just, <laughs> just in general? No, she's just intensively trained, I okay, believe. So cool. which is quite quite exciting. So yeah. and no, you can see the intensity. Shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very intense the in the catch. You're gonna have to get a last name for her. For the yeah, for games. Soph, for sure. Banksy gives it a rip. Oh, and uh, no one fields the pull here and Holly Reeve Oh you Ooh. almost said she could have got one there. Doily with a Dicey pass it to Crosby. Oh, but it's I do like out. that little scuba. Let's get over the Australian Cup. They've come out in the zone. Thompson under a lot of pressure. They're very flat in this wall at the moment. Carpenter doing a good job. Banks Crosby over the top. Maybe over commits on that and lets off another scuba. Oh, it looks pretty easy out there from the New Zealanders at the moment. Lots of easy movement. That is a great offensive point. Very well worked from a number of players. Lucy Parsons, I think, with the goal, or with the assist, sorry. Yeah, nice play there from the um, from the New Zealand girls. Scuba is a um, is not an easy option in this wind. No, but uh, both of those were well executed passes to to crack open the Australian zone. Yep, thrown with confidence. Yeah, and you can't you can't argue with the fact that I'm sure the New Zealanders are um, are reasonably comfortable with wind. It's a windy isle <laughs> down there, or islands as the plural is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, getting the Tasman winds. Mm. Sweeps off from Sydney across the sea. Mm -hmm. It's New Zealand with a, a pace. Yeah, that's what pushes this, the boats in the Sydney to Hobart. Is it though? Is it? <laughs> I think Sydney to Hobart's more a, more a north 
to south kind of thing. Oh uh, yeah, wait, I no, suppose a bit. No, you go it's a bit east. It's a bit east. Or? They're going. D they're definitely going down. Well, once you're going, yeah. Once you're going down to Hobart, you may as well. Not really sure why we're arguing because we're both wrong. Hmm. It Fair. is seven six New Zealand. Seven six knocking on the door, Max. <laughs> knocking on the door. But of Australia half. reaching for the doorbell. Not quite <laughs> there yet. The six. They're not, they're not at the doorbell. They're not far away. Seven six. Seven six. It is very true. This goes up. I reckon that's going to float out the sideline. Carpenter's going to brick it. A big brick. Sorry. And we do have a bit of a zone set up here from the New Zealanders. Yeah, three of the people with maybe arguably the best cleats in the wall here. <laughs> Yellow, green, in the world. and pink. I wouldn't say the world. In the wall. I will say the wall, though. Nice pressure generated by the New Zealanders here. Australia gets some room in the cup. Oh, it just bonks off the hands there, unfortunately. I actually think Miriam Downey had a, had a bit of a scuba group there. So it's a bit of a shame that we couldn't see that one come off. Number 16 makes an early move. Oh, oh. Well, with the pressure, but it's well done from Zoe Reisner. You might that's have thought, half. Yeah, that's half time. You might have thought uh, Mueller... Picked up the uh, picked up the player at the last minute. Pardon me. Picked up the player at the last minute. There, you thought she might have been hunting a block, but uh, New Zealand resists the pressure. And it's New Zealand who take half again. Same situation as the boys' game. Eight six. Now again, trying to avoid spoilers for the uh, for the other for the first Terra game. But uh, look, one thing I can say with confidence is. It's not over. And if it ain't over, it ain't over. In this half-time break, uh, we might have a chance to interview uh, one of the uh, coaches of the Australian uh, Thunder, uh, Mr. Robert Swan. Robert, how are you going? I'm doing very well. Thank you, Max. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me on the stream. My pleasure. Uh, how do you think that first game went? Mm. Really good. Uh, <laughs> I... I told the boys that I wanted them to be proud, uh, and I meant it. Like we, ex like you were saying before, absolutely right. We were down eight six at half, and we put on a run of breaks. We came out hard, and mm -hmm. we played the game that we wanted to do. We got it to universe point. We put ourselves in that position with a real chance, and you know, just a tiny little bit of the end, but it's fuel to the fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, it's not a one, well, not a one game series, of course. Yeah, exactly. It, it, might put a little bit of a pressure on our next game. It, it sort of makes our game, you know, a must win if, we, if we're going to take this series out. But technically, both are must win games now. You can only lose one game in a series of three. Oh, vicious. And, and we did. But, you know, that's all right. I think we came out with a lot of nerves at the start. You know, for a lot of these boys, mm. it's their first time representing Australia. This is an international test match. It means a lot. They've come a long way. And. Mm paid a lot of money to be here and you know and they're just you know, just young boys but towards the end of that game we really settled in really found our pace and just mm. just you know played the frisbee that we wanted to be doing um so i think that'll put us in good stead coming into the second game i don't think that that nerves will be nearly as much of an issue in the first few points as the next game yeah certainly and i mean yeah looking at the the team i mean you you guys were four points down at one point uh, which is uh, pretty impressive to uh, to come back to to Universe Point and in fact be in the lead um, coming out after half, which is uh, it's a really good achievement. Uh, so your next game is this afternoon. Uh, mm -hmm. What are you guys going to be focusing on in that second game? I think we just need to come out firing. If we come out firing with that same sort of intensity uh, and play that we came out of half time with at the start of this next game. I think that'll put us in a really good position at the start of the game and allow us to just sort of roll through the whole game. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think there was anything that really shook us, nothing that we could really, really break. Um, the zone was a bit troubling. It's just, it's windy as. Mm. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of strong throws. And I think the, bo the boys showed real, like, pretty good mental strength to just believe and be around each other. And, and it helps that we have... A lovely group of guys, and they're all, you know, thick as thieves already. They're super tight friends, and you know, a lot of meeting each other for the first time. And um, 
having the two day development camp before mm-hmm. this has helped them like immensely. You know, we're not doesn't feel like we're thrown together this morning. We've we're training and working. Uh, it feels like this is now, you know, almost like a campaign but compressed into a short period of time. Awesome. Oh well, thank you so much for joining us, uh, Rob. And yeah, good luck for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the series. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to watch the rest of this game. Yeah, me too. That was uh, Rob Swan from uh, the, one of the coaches of the Australian uh, Thunder, the under-18s boys who uh, have just played, uh, had a really close game against New Zealand. Very exciting. A really good one to watch if, uh, if you're looking for a bit of catch-up TV later on. Uh, but that whistle indicates that uh, we're reaching the end of half-time now f- at the, with the Australian uh, under-18 women's team, the Southern Terror playing against the under-18s New Zealand team, Kahu. Kahu, mythical, magical bird. Uh, not dissimilar to the fire tails, of course, the Australian Australian birds. And uh, we've got a, a big half of play. Australia is two points down. They're in a bit of a deficit. And uh, New Zealand have, been, have looking, been looking good. Australia not without their moments of brilliance, though. You sense they've got uh, they've got a bit more to give the Aussies. You do, you do sense that. A few execution errors, um, resulting in New Zealand capitalising, getting the getting the break. So, you know, it's um, it's an exciting game out there, Max. It's a game of two halves. It's game of two halves and we're about to enter the second one. It's a series of three games, so in a way, it's a series of six halves. Mm. So that's one half done. Well, yeah, certainly if you view it in just in terms of the each of the genders' individual games, because in many ways, it's actually it's a game of 12 halves. I suppose. And the Australia A-teams will both be playing a game, so factor them in as well to your calculations. Yeah, because they're going to play a single gender and a mixed game, which is three more games, which... You know, when you start doing this maths, Gussie, it's a game of 18 halves. And it makes you realise that going down 8-6 is not the end of the world, by any means. No, put in the perspective of all the points of ultimate that you'll ever play, it's no biggie. Mm. Speaking of all the ultimate that that you'll ever play, see the Australian team huddled around, big fans of the kneel. Some of them have even decided to stop the kneel and go towards the sit. All aboard the kneel train. Yeah. Not to be confused with the kneeled train, of course, which is any train piloted by uh, Captain of Australia, Mike Neeld. Mm. I'm on that plane or train. As the plane goes overhead, a bit of a Qantas aircraft. So it's New Zealand. New Zealand on offense here. And uh, with the disc. A uh, a junk set played by the Australians. It's a great throw. Oh, wow. it's well done. Helena Vidvanovic does a great Vanovich. job. Does a bit of an airplane celebration. They love it. She's underneath the flight path. She's uh, <laughs> causing her own air traffic control issues down here. And uh, Australia didn't have her on their radar. <laughs> Good. Keep going. Yep. I reckon, you, I reckon you squeeze one more out of it. Yep. Uh, the, um, the the pilot was asleep at the wheel. No. No. There's no wheel. Is there a wheel or is it a stick? I'm not sure. Mm. I think it's, yeah, I think it's a wheel. Either way, the the amount of time she had to uh, sit under that disc, she could have uh, probably done a full in-flight service. <laughs> I think it's I think it's a wheel. You know what? If you're a pilot and you're watching, or if you'd like us to stop talking about airplanes, you can tweet in Mr. Max Halden. Mr. Max Halden, or uh, or just uh, add the comments on YouTube. Let yeah. us know about it. Yeah, sure. We're always open to constructive and unconstructive feedback, really. We're okay. S- yeah, sorry. No, no yeah. well, I mean, it's New Zealand... <laughs> New Zealand uh, maybe uh, deflates Australia a little bit. And Australia hunting for that comeback. But uh, it's New Zealand manages to work their way through that junky well, set. Yep. Yep. It's difficult coming out of half on O. Um, but they did well to convert. Just goes up again. Australia will have their own opportunity at offence. Mueller fields it. Ooh, looks off Banks. Reeve gets it under and that's going to go I reckon. Right you are, Gussie. Joyce and Jelinek, but Joyce is going to read it right on the doorstep. Nice defense. Travel called, I think. Goes back. Really cramped in there. 
Oh, it's swing out to Banks. Banks gets his stall called. No. Oh, and another oh, stall. Uncontested stall. Great hand signals there used by the New Zealanders, but another stall out for Australia. Struggling to find the options when they need them. Bush. Number 19. Lucy Parsons in pursuit of that one. Mueller with the disc. Yeah, the huck on zero. Doesn't work for the New Zealanders this time. Another oh, deep shot. Reeves sends it. Sage Lovell underneath it. Gets the right read. Oh. Unlucky there from number 16, Zoe Rice. Now she's been playing very well this morning, but I think just uh, got fooled by the wind a little bit. bit yeah, of a dip. 16 on 16. And uh, yeah, it was certainly very well read uh, by the Australians. Just sending the Australian, the New Zealand player underneath the disc at exactly the right moment. Just leaned into it. Made number 16 on the New Zealand team commit. Up she goes. Gave herself plenty of space to run into. And it was a nice pass from Mueller. Once again, showing her class in terms of those deep shots. Sure is. She's playing very well this morning. Well beyond, well beyond her years. <laughs> oh. So, um, the bit of forcings back there for both teams, just uh, getting reasonably huck happy in this uh, in this second half. It's what you like to see, though, from a bit of under 18s ultimate. You do, you do. You want to see, you want to see the big plays. You want to see the big throws. And uh, some of these guys and girls have really got them. So New Zealand. Again, they've got that uh, they've got that wall trio of amazing cleats <laughs> on the field, as you'll see. Team highlighter coming back in sharp as the pull goes out. But out. It's going to be picked up by Sheridan here. Got Thompson in the middle on a, a relatively free swing. There's a miscommunication on defence. New Zealand see if they find the open player. Australia recovers. Stuck on the sideline here. A lot of pressure. Has Sheridan. High stall. Oh, hits a nice inside. Yep. Ooh, the Australians finish the job off. Yeah, I think there's a bit of a stall call And once again, here. we got another stall called. And uh, we're just going to see if it's contested or uncontested. It's contested. Does that mean it comes back? Uh, still a throwaway? I'm not sure how it works. Woody's going to resolve it. So a turnover will result, will be the result. Salmon Wood, Game Advisor. Aren't you glad we had a Game Advisor? For you. Rules crisis averted, Australia, with an opportunity now for a break. Mueller unmarked. Australia moves it up the sideline. Mueller still unmarked. Nobody coming for her yet. You know, if I was a receiver out there, I'd be running deep when Mueller is unmarked. But uh, Mueller hits the others. Mueller finally marked, but hits a nice big under. Sophie. A great intense cut. 20 metres up the field. Mueller gets it back. She's doing every second pass at the moment. Mueller hits the end zone. Ooh. Bit too much there. I like it with that one. Yeah, really wanted to try and sit in the end zone. The planes are coming thick and fast here. Thick and fast. And New Zealand again, we'll see. Will this deep shot come off the Australian players? Deepest in the stack is very wary of this shot. And so Australia's got a two-on-one here, but it's Sharon. well weighted. Farron Halliday claimed that in the pack. Unfortunately, couldn't connect the next pass. Thanks, picking it up. And uh, not a lot coming, but uh, Banks gets it off nicely for Mueller. Tough throw. Oh, and a great break around. Oh, Lucky Downey got two hands on it, but couldn't quite close the hands. Yeah, needed a big grab. Needed a big uh, lift from Mercedes. Thompson to pick it up. <laughs> you don't see that very often, do you? No. Thompson to pick it up for New Zealand. Oh, a bit of contact there on that one. There yeah. from Downey. Uncontested foul, I think, straight away. Yep. Yep, no, no disagreement there. This 
Taking Adele with the disc. Going to backhand. No. Oh, Banksy with a huge layout. Unlucky not to get it there. Yeah, tough. A great throw from Liddell and a good catch by, I believe, number 15, Nicole Svenston. Svenston, yeah. It's exciting to see that I, Banks is a great little layout there. Uh, just uh, it's exciting to see the moment she thinks about it, you know. She comes in. Yep. She's going to do it. Oh. oh, gee, it wasn't far away. Very, very close. Great effort there from Banks. Suddenly, Max... 7-10. It is. The gap's, uh, the gap's kind of staying at about this distance. New Zealand's keeping Australia at arm's length. With a three-point buffer. Mm -hmm. Australia looking to convert this one, and then it's suddenly 10-8. It's a very different game, isn't it? You know, it is. You can't argue with the fact that if the score is different, it's different. Scintillating stuff. Uh... <laughs> New Zealanders again, just uh, just making a few adjustments in terms of their mark. You can see them thinking about how they're trying to stop some of these playmakers on Australia doing uh, having their will, having their way with the uh, with the game. And uh, both carpenters again for the Australians on this uh, on this point. Do you have a pretty experienced line? Sasha Presley, Ray Carpenter, Emma Hannigan, Zoe Jelinek, Zia Palmer, Shannon Carpenter, who will receive the pool and Sage Lovell as well. Oh, and a nice chase down there from uh, Bianca Mercer. But uh, tons of space. Oh, it's a great grab from Presley. Yeah, just keeps it up off the ground. Palmer. Got that high release flick. Grip cocked and ready to go. Dumps it instead to Hannigan. And again to Carpenter. Oh, triple oh, juggle. Fumble. No. Cron was in my way. I couldn't see. No finish though. Okay, New Zealand. Another chance. Unmarked player in the dump space. It's not seen. Crosby hits Mercer. Mercer with a few options. She's going to go back to Crosby. And it's a nice little play. A she's going to send it to Sunny Zhao. Oh, and oh. gets some extra meters on the, du good, on the block. Good kick. Yeah. Good connection. Uh, so here they go. Australia. Shaz on the disc. Oh, punts it. Nice little initiation. Oof. Crosby reads it well. Well blocked. A lot of pressure now for the Australians. That wind's picking up a little bit. But Reisner with it now. Hucks it. Oh. To Mercer. Sunny Zhao and Bridget Fawcett streaming deep. Certainly a preferred receiver there in Bianca Mercer. Back to Mance. Oh, and a nice up the line move there. Crosby, he's got plenty of time. Crosby, unmarked. Oh, and an inside oh. flick, but it's just a little bit too strong. Good vision, though. Does manage to get it through the goal. Uh, so that's one achievement. Something she can look back on fondly, at least. <laughs> you may be able to hear <laughs> Kron uh, just asking what the force is for the turn. And fair enough, too. Certainly some mixed uh, directions happening as the thing went on. He's high in the air. Oh, it's somehow caught by Lovell. It's up again. But that one's brought down by Reisner. As New Zealand looks yeah. to go on offense now. Palmer doing a tight mark, though. Oh, oh Crosby not far away. Un the layout. Unfortunate there. Carpenter, quick pick up. Looking for a bit of a run and gun. Oh, a bit of a run and punt. Hit oh. Sage. Wow. That's a catch behind her head. High well level of difficulty. Good work by Jidge. And scored 10 by the judges. 10-8 <laughs> to New Zealand. Australia pulls another one back. Great catch there from Lovell as we see it again on the replay. 
Yeah, I'm talking I'm a bit of paper issue here on the desk because the wind is picking up. Oh, oh we've got a Jesus. Laptop, a laptop blow. Yeah, I really hope my laptop is not destroyed by... Unprecedented. Yeah. That's a strong wind. But uh, we're functioning. Sweet. Are you okay? Certainly, uh, certainly a little bit of... The commentary booth is as exposed to the elements as the fields. Yeah, really under the pump here. It's not easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but hey, we're professionals, and so the show will go on. Uh, and you have to say, that was a, a, just almost a supernatural grab from... Uh, hmm. from was Some it Lo you, Who was it, sorry? Uh, Lo Sage Lovell. Lovell, yeah. Some sort of psychic prediction. She Great shot there from Carpenter as well. Knew where the disc was the whole way. Not a bad pull. It's probably partway between the brick and the... The middle of the field. Oh, and a nice, it's a, it's a nice look. You love that little inside leading pass. Yeah, difficult throw. Sheridan can't quite hit it. High degree of difficulty. Oh, Banks is going to walk. Pick up the disc. She looks confident, doesn't she? Nice. So you got Banks and Reeve. They've mixed, they've broken up the Holy Trinity a little bit here. Spread their resources a little bit greater in terms of handler. Straight up. Mercedes underneath it. Reads it well. Sweet read from Mercedes. A few options. Goes back to Banks. Looks for the swing but doesn't hit it. Banks. Hits the goal instead. There's one out. Oh. Oh, oh Sophie. Jeez. Unlucky. And that Our think basketball superstar not quite able to reel it in. A little there, bit of a foul call, actually. There is, there is some chat happening. Some discussion. Would love yes. some hand signals. Yeah, that's yeah. a foul. She's signaling a foul. Yeah, look. Interesting one. Let's see as it goes up. Okay, both make a play on it. Both miss it. Second to... Seems sure seems one. tough. Seems tough. Seems like a tough call. Uh, unless there was early contact that we didn't see in that replay, it looks um it looks reasonably clean from the commentary booth. I think it's a contested foul, so it isn't going to go back to Banks. I'm not sure about that one. Something we didn't see, perhaps. Yes, maybe there's more to the story, but <laughs> the end result, Australia. Mercedes with an under. Gets another five metres closer on this sideline. Oh, so a nice block. Forces it in the cram hole. That's always difficult. And it's uh, Spens and Crosby with the disc. Oh, big under for number eight. Still unmarked. Reeve finally gets there. Another Crosby up, the, up line. the line. Crosby's all over it. She's got a, a receiver deep in Nicole Svensden. Not quite there yet. Still need another couple. Streaming in are the New Zealand players. Uh, Crosby oh. finishes it off. Every second point all the way down the field in that offense. That was great work there from Crosby. That's huge. And once again, ripped out of the hands of uh, yet an another player on the New Zealand team. But uh, they did very well, New Zealanders. Geez, and Australia, two times, two throws into the end zone. Two opportunities to, uh, to get a break back, but it's New Zealand who end up scoring, make it 11-8. Yeah, just keeping that three-point buffer on New Zealand. Australia not quite able to close it at the moment. Mm. And uh, we're 60 minutes into an 80-minute game. So there's still time for the Australians here. A lot can change in 20 minutes. But something needs to happen soon. So, let's see, New Zealanders will be coming down on defense. We'll see, they haven't really messed with too much apart from a, um, apart from a bit of a man set up, really. Uh, they, they, had, they did play a little bit of zone earlier on. Yeah, kind and of flipping between match and zone at the moment. It was reasonably effective. We'll see if they return to that zone look, but they've generally been doing it when the Australians will be going the other way, left to right on your screen, folks. It's Reisner with the pull. Got quite a strong Australian line. Though they're all strong Australian lines in my opinion. Unfortunately the roll is just uh, not that well for New Zealand there. You want to pick it up past halfway. Yeah, we're in match defence. 
Oh, beautiful Ford inside. Break across Carpenter can't, can't quite hang on to it. Yeah, maybe a bit too much zing on that pass for Carpenter. It's Polinos Vlanovic. Yeah, and hits Reisner. Gets Reisner in a lot of space. That's a sweet Vlanovic again. Oh, but Zao. It's Zani Zao. With the backup. Zao wants it in that front corner. It's got, got Mercer. Eyes for nothing else. Centimeters away. Inches. It's really knocking in on the, the door. the Imperial system. <laughs> Oh, oh wow! And an impressive catch. Incredible layout attempt though from Lovell. I thought she had that. Yeah, really nice. You could actually, I mean, you might have picked it up on the mics, but you could hear the contact with the disc and the hands. But uh, Reisner, those gloves paying off. On oh, Zhao, smart back up here from the stack. Was only ever going to throw a flick to the end zone. Yep. So he fakes yep. it about four times. <laughs> And it's uh, it's Mercer. S wants somebody, and eventually gets it. Oh, jeez, oh, fine margins. Yeah, it was not far away from that one at all. No, nicely done by Reisner to secure it, especially with that left hand, getting both hands to the disc and uh, withstanding the pressure. So three becomes four, Gussie, margin-wise. Yep. It's, uh, it's sneaking up a little bit. Australia want going to want to reel it in pretty soon. Only three points left to play, th theoretically. Theoretically. If they don't pull it in. Y you're right. If they score no more points, yeah. yeah. Hopefully that won't happen. Hopefully we have another exciting finish like we did in the boys' game. I hope so too. But, you know, this is the thing about these, these test series, Gussie. You know, you learn something every point and... Uh, Whatever happens at the end of this game, regardless of the result, might tell us something, might be something that's telling in the next game. So, Very true. The disc goes up. It's going to be received by Holly Reeve. A bit of nutmeg. <laughs> I haven't heard the term nutmeg in a long time. Your hits Banks. Can't quite connect that one. Unfortunate there. Forsyth puts a little bit of pressure on that upline pass. and uh, It's going to be Thompson to pick it up. Sheridan in the dump space. Quite open at the moment for a quick center. Oh, geez, nicely tried to cut that angle off, number 14. Baron Halliday looking to the end zone, or maybe looking to Nicole Spencer, but it doesn't quite come off either way. Yeah, splits the difference, and uh, <laughs> nobody's happy. Except the Australians, who picked the disc up. Mueller, Reeve making a strange dump cut that... A bit of miscommunication there. Yeah, it confuses Mueller as well. I was pretty confused. Uh, it's, it's New Zealand now. An opportunity that forces Flick. Sheridan picking it up on the doorstep. Oh, Mueller. Oh, Mueller. Great. Heads up deep. A huge block. Had full vision of it. And now Australia off Holly to the Reeves races. Holly going to want that deep. Mueller lines it up and sends it. This is what the people want. Oh, that Holly is... Holly Reeves every single day of the week. Ooh, oh, just that's tough. Just there, unfortunately. Yes, you thought uh, you thought Holly Reeve might leave her feet there. I thought she would too, but maybe just a little bit too far away. Hard to tell from this angle. Yeah, easy to say from the commentary box, but she definitely should have just caught it. <laughs> and here we go, New Zealand. Svenston. Reeve is just Looking screwing stuff up. And they've got a few yeah. players going deep. A few options. Thompson in the dump space. Oh, it's a good dump cut. Oh, Lost that no. Man, oh, it's just... Pandemonium, surely a, a pick call in there somewhere. Yeah, you would hope. It's collisions all over the place. You'd hope number 24 for the Australians calls that. Uh, I think there's a bit of talk about it. Yeah, there's a game advisor in here. Yeah, young players, it certainly w helps to explain these kind of situations because definitely they're coming in on eight, which is seemingly too high, but. Speaking of high, that disc went very high. <laughs> <laughs> and so it'll be Australia again. Again on this far sideline. Those passes that get on to this middle of the field are worth gold, but we'll see if they can hit any. Holly Reeve just hanging out in the deep space, and I think that was a bit of an inevitable pass there. Yep. When Holly Reeve goes deep, I think Arva wants to throw it to her. And it's paid off because it's now 12-9. Yeah, it was a nice pass to the advantage of a receiver. The defender's probably thinking, oh, I'm in pretty much the right spot here. Yeah. I got the under, I got the deep covered, and uh, Mueller makes a, a fool of us all by hitting a nice 
backhand perfectly weighted for Reeve, who just backs up. And just chucks it in reverse. Finishes the job. So there's a, Australi a, a saying in Australian Ultimate, Gussie, that's, I'd say, gaining increased popularity off the basis of um, Mike Neal's uh, oh, terminology and uh, maybe your imitation of, of Mike Neal, but... Not sure what you're talking about. Some people say that it's got to be now. I think it, it does maybe got to be now and for Australia. If you're the Australians, you have to say... It's got to be now. It's getting close. It is 12-9. 70 minutes played. Yes, and uh, that three-point gap is, is still sort of held, but there's another break in it now. Mm. Uh, and if you don't peel one back here, the mountain is much harder to climb for the Australians when we get to the time cap situation, if indeed we do get to a time cap situation. But if you score here in your Australia, the mountain becomes a bit more of a hill. It is. It is the way to turn a mountain, my friend, into a molehill. Thompson with the disc now. Holly Reeve, a very intense mark on her. Lovell sweeping across. Yeah, Reeve knows that it's got to be now. She's played these before. Oh, Crosby pierces the gap. That's a great throw. Right now. Confidently moving it through. Working well with Sinatovich. Lovell's got to get around. It's a loose cup here. It's an interesting setup from the Australians. Very wide. Crosby. Trying to induce a pass through oh, the middle, which oh. they get. They get it. Just can't quite snaffle that D. Yeah, that. But the pressure pays off. Bit of a drop there from number 18, Abby Liddell. Reeve moves into the dump position. It'll be Mueller picking up the disc. Gonna want a deep cut there from Carpenter. Oh, she's got Carpenter. There's a pick called. Ooh. And uh, unfortunately, I think that remains as a turn. Yeah, well, it'll be interesting to see. Carpenter, uh, Carpenter's probably quickly telepathically communicating their thoughts on the, the matter. <laughs> yeah, good call. Yep, yeah, they okay. all agree it's turnover. Good discussion. Holly Reeve touches the ground. <laughs> good on her. She just likes to be connected with the earth, of course. Crosby walking to the disc. So a big wide cup here. It's a junky set from the Australians. And, uh, Easy dump back to Doily that she doesn't oh. hit. Instead jams it through to Reisner. Once again, these passes are just going out just past the outstretched hands of the Australians. Violation. Now we've got a, a foul call on the mark, I want to say. I think so. I think uh, maybe wrong hand signal. Okay. No, yeah. Well, it's coming back in on two. Okay. It's the end result. Sweeping across. Ooh. Not too bad. There's oh, our dumb yeah. valiant attempt. But um, Australians get the chance. Reeve on the under. He's got no one going deep for it. Looks level off. In fact, just generates a deep choice. cut. We'll get that, you would think. Ooh. Again, this, the Unlucky. wind. Playing havoc, my friend. Playing havoc, Gussie. Sure is. And I, I like that Reeve, re Reeve really generated a deep cut for a receiver there, which was pretty well done. Oh, Callahan Country. Lovell. Lovell probably sees the opportunity just a little late. Puts a bit more pressure on. They're stuck on this sideline, the New Zealanders. Reisner moves it over. Doily. Reeve again. Makes Over's a bid. Thompson now. They're really starting to get it moving, the New Zealanders. Back to Doily. Quick movement might be the solution, I think. Yeah, the New Zealand fakes are very nice. They're moving the cup well. Oh, just a, another stone cold drop there. Again. Holly Reeve with the disc. Steve Austin all over the place. Still don't get it. Oh, just a bad look. Bit of zing on that inside I there. <laughs> I think we need a, I think we need a calm head here. Either way, on either you, side. You're suggesting that cooler heads might prevail I here, Gus. I think they might. We'll see My if expert the, opinion. We'll see if the adage is true. New Zealand, move it up. Lovell on the mark. Nice little movement through Reisner. there. Reisner. Oh, uh, Liddell. So it's one points, calls a oh, shot, and it's nice. perfectly weighted. Kanadovic. And they've switched back to man. Will the New Zealanders be able to exploit it? And a flick into the end zone. Ties Fody. There's two players there. Hannigan comes down with it. Bit of a wow, travel, easy as you, I think. Easy Not as sure you like, though. There. 
Oh, oh Mueller's going, going straight deep. to the end zone. I you have to think go. Reaver's going to soot it. And there it is. Was the wind go. making it oh, the very wind hard. Just made that to read. So difficult. But uh, it was Kovanovic who read it perfectly in the end. That would be the 15th pronunciation we've had of that last name. That's true. Not sure if we're getting closer or further away. Yeah, we need a warmer or colder situation, yeah. don't we? Okay. It's oily now. Australia puts the zone back on. Reisner. Oh, oh that inside. Through the gap to Liddell. And yeah. again across the Sunnies out. She's got time. Oh, she takes it early though. Yeah, I like that. And pines it. I think uh, that's just going to drift out. Yeah, it's too much. Put by Paddy Graham there on the sideline. Sun is coming out. Max Houghton's going to apply. Uh, looks for Joyce. Just floats over the top. Might get lucky here, Carpenter. the Australians. Carpenter. Wise. Holly Reeve screaming for the disc. Once again, once and under this time. On the shots, hits Arva out wide. Pretty crazy Got cut. Mueller. Oh, and a great grab by Liddell. Oh, and a spike. No, that's Lovell. Lovell, rather, not Liddell. Sorry, she's fired up. She she's spikes there. it and falls to her knees. That's a passionate player. Yes, and a tough job for her on the mark. Probably weathered about maybe 15 turns all up on that point. That was a real grind and uh, a well-earned catch in the end. We've got four minutes until time cap, folks, so... Uh, yeah, you know what, Max? I reckon this one might come right down to the wire. I can like see this one, one coming down to the wire, Gussie. It and is 12-10. Given the accuracy of predictions, I'm worried the final score is <laughs> going to be 15-10 now. <laughs> going to be no zone. You don't, prediction. <laughs> you're not going to see a zone again. The... um. You have to say that uh, we saw the, probably the most blocks that Terra's gotten on one point at least using that uh, that junky set. Uh, the wind certainly played a factor, but forced a lot more passes, you'd have to say. Uh, and even though the Australians uh, didn't necessarily get many blocks per se, put a lot of pressure on, mm. and uh, that cumulative pressure led to turns. So, Australia, with the pull, it's Banks. Banksy. Oh, it's low because of the wind, maybe. It's creeps over halfway. Not the worst pull we've seen today by any, by any means. Yeah, not so bad. And we'll give the Australians a chance to set up. Crosby with the disc. Nice. Cue to Mercer. Nice pressure there from the Australians, forcing them under. Yeah. So, Banksy. Banks, it's oh, in the air. It. It's in the air. Half. Basketball player Sophie's underneath it, I reckon. Oh, 15 people grab it all at the same time. And there's a lot of hands on it. A lot of hands. <laughs> it's going to be a hard one to litigate, you have to say. There's a lot of... It's, it's going to be defense. a lengthy court battle. It's a, it's a class action lawsuit. A lot of defendants, a lot of prosecutors. As we watch it again on the replay... Oh. Certainly safe to say. <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six hands, I think, in the mix. Yeah, it, I mean, it's not unfair for the New Zealand player to say she might have caught it first. It's certainly the first hand up there. Mm. But uh, God knows, when you've got that many hands on a disc, you usually don't see that unless you're trying to flip one inside out with your thumbs. <laughs> so, Banks... Getting high in the stall now. Not really looking at a dump. Got an up the line. It's going to have to be a soot. No, it's not. It's a flat dump. Sophie does well. Hits it straight back to Banks. Sophie doing some good movement there. Oh, oh and a great run to, through D. Just need to attack the disc. Crosby capitalizes and punts it. Banks in pursuit of Svensden. Oh! oh! That is such a great bid from, a great Svensden. from Svensden. A great combination of... Possibly a bit hurt from it. Yeah, great combination of sort of um, angling her defender out of the play, but also making a bid. You'll see as she comes through. She's got to take, take a tight angle here. And then well, maybe just, just one step too far to the side. one too yeah. far. Man, but real ex excellent athleticism, and it's going to be New Zealand now. Crosby bringing in quite close to the sideline. Knocking on the door, as they say. It has to be good defense from the Australians. Got nice big buffers. 
Palmer. Oh, wow. Not far away there at all, Palmer. No, but the New Zealanders trust the, their offense and uh, it pays dividends. That makes it 13-10, 79 minutes played. Yes, but exciting that, I mean, the Australians are hustling to the line, but it looks like we're likely to get a time cap call probably during or if not even before this point begins. So, we're going 13-10. We'll play another one and then we'll add one. So it'll be game to 14 or the same game to 15 that we promised you at the start. And, uh, man, Australia had three hands on a, a disc only a few metres away from the end zone. But uh, ultimately... It's heartbreaking. Yeah, it's a tough one. You know, it's the exciting thing about these series, test match series, Gussie. You can avenge it straight off the bat. That's right. It's not like Worlds. You don't have to sit on it for four bloody years. <laughs> Excuse my French. Thinking, oh, I'll get those New Zealanders one day. You can just get them later this afternoon. Mm. And at Callan Park, Balmain Road. That's Come it. Down. Time cap has been called. So this will be... And he sorts it straight away. Could get bodies under it. Oh, oh yes. Comfortably done. A casual one-handed grab. One pass offense. That's what we want. Beautiful catch. Like, really immaculate read. And uh, Banks, stone cold stone on the cold uh, on the release. Yeah. Not, not stone cold like the drop. More like stone cold Steve Austin. She really John 316 that, that pass. Does anyone know who Steve Austin is? Oh, Gussie. That's going to come back to haunt you, mate. How old do you have to be to know who Steve Austin is? Oh, you just have to be into professional wrestling. <laughs> It's all right, Gussie. And uh, shout out to all our WWE fans watching this. <sighs> all righty. So here we go. Australia. It's game to 14, folks. Um, score is 13-11. Yep. I think so. I think. We think. And, uh, yep. And uh, Australia needs to score three on the trot. New Zealand just won. One goal away from taking this first game in the Trans Tasman Test Series between the two women's under-18 teams. And it have to be a big point from Australia. Big pull from Holly Reeve. Yeah, it's a nice one. It's going nice. to float. Good float should make it just to pass the brick mark. And the Australians are down. A lot of pressure being turned oh, on the mark. Tea. It's a great run through deep. Huge block from the Australians and a huge opportunity now as Carpenter picks it up. She's got the wind at her back now a little bit, Carpenter. It's swelled around. Hits Holly, Holly Reeve, Reeve on, on the nice inside. inside. Holly Reeve wants that throw. Looks to a dump instead. It's a great cut from Carpenter. She's got a few options there. Yeah, number eight says, no, nah, I'll take it. Wild attempt at a foot block again. It's going to the end zone. Oh, Downey with the snag. It's a goal. Maxi. Australia close it to one. 13-12, that's the closest that margin has been for quite a while. Very true, Gussie, and it's happening at the right time for the Australians. So can New Zealand weather this storm, Gussie? Ooh, the wind's blowing. Plenty of experience. They, got the, uh, they have the most experienced player on the field as well as the youngest player on the field. Gussie? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. A top and bottom. Well, they got it all. Top and bottom is not the right way to describe it, but the best and also the best. Yes, the best in different ways. <laughs> and you see the game advisors. Uh, oh, we'll just watch the replay on that block. But uh, game advisors, you can see on the very side of the screen, signalling. Yes. Oh, sorry, signalling so. game point. The uh, the half dab. The half dab, as we like to call it. A very polite half dab. Solidly polite half Which dab. means we're approaching the, cl the, the clincher. It's the, the end of the game. It's the climax for sure, Gussie. So what's all been coming down to. So, Australia. With the pull. They've got... It's Mueller. Mueller. Lovell. Got Sophie. 
Sophie. Our girl Sophie. Rachel Joyce, Zoe Jelinek, Holly Reeve. It's a great pull. It's a big chase down. Big run down. Oh, that's in there. Reeve, Reeve snakes it. it. Straight away for the goal. Oh, oh my lord, folks. This is it. Max, you know what? It's 12.08 on a Saturday morning. And we're about to head into our second universe point of the day. That's unbelievable, Gussie. Unbelievable back -to -back games. stuff. Who would have thought? It's huge. Uh, just a great block there from Reeve. Really great heads up play. Started with an excellent pull chase. You can see Reeve just takes those few steps oh, early. Pressure in there. Sets herself up for that block. Gets it nicely and then easy as you like. It's a great pull, a great rundown. So much pressure on the New Zealand handlers. Rachel Joyce with a, with a spike. Didn't see that one before. Yeah. Hey, all those people who followed my advice and didn't turn off when it was 2-0 down, <laughs> hey, good on you. You're being repaid right now by a thrilling finish. Dividends. Paying dividends. So here we go. The Australians are fired up. New Zealanders, again, just a picture of calm, if anything. And you've got to think there's going to be a huge run down here, Max. Yeah, this is a big one. And uh, almost on cue, the wind feels like it's uh, starting to pick up now, just before yeah. the pull. Holly Reeve with the pull. Oh, it's a good floater. Oh, it's just going to hang there a little bit. Yeah, it's a nice pull. Yeah, so, and she's chasing it down as well, Holly. Here we go. Oh, it's an intense sideline. Volume's Holly going Reeve up. in the lane. Over to Crosby. Crosby maybe looking deep here, potentially. It doesn't. Oh. It's come up. It's going to the end zone. Oh, and it's my caught goodness. by it's the New caught. Zealanders. Abby Liddell, the pass from Lucy Parsons. Really nicely weighted pass from Parsons. It's heartbreak from, Australia, from an Australian point of view. Yes. It's two heartbreaks in, a, in one morning. Yeah, that, oh, uh, yeah, sorry, spoiler alert. But the, um, yeah, really f a wonderful, a wonderful finish there. Oh, geez. What a game, Gussie. What a game. Yeah, so I thought that hard was going straight to Liddell, but it went via Parsons, and I think that was a good outcome for the New Zealanders. Yeah, probably. Great on. throw in space. Yeah, it's a beautiful all day there, Liddell. And Liddell is fired up, and who can blame her? They've just come home with the first win in the Trans-Tasman between the uh, under-18s women's team from Australia, Terra, losing on Universe Point uh, to Kahu. Solid win from them. Two more games to go, though. It's not over yet. First That's game, true. First game of this uh, of the women's series. So plenty of ultimate action still to see throughout the weekend. Yeah, looking forward to it. And uh, if you're hanging around, uh, we've got a uh, few more games coming up for you this afternoon as well, including the first hit out for the Australia A-teams mm -hmm. uh, coming up at 12.30. Yes. Uh, and after that finishes up, you'll have uh, another game at 2 uh, and then another one at 3.30. So both second rounds of the uh, Trans-Tasman Test Series. So, tune in for that. We're done.